Hey guys, it's Andre, and today I'm going to be filming a quick little haul for you guys. This is all commercial products, so no product from Etsy. Uh, well, there's one item that's not commercial, but it's kind of really simple to show you guys. So I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm going to try and link everything down below. My nails are a little chipped, so I apologize about that. I'm going to reprint, repaint them for next week's video. So this is from Pen Gems, and it's their gold pen. And everyone and their mom, I feel like, has like a Pen Gems pen. And I didn't have one, so I figured I'd just pick one up and see what the fuss is all about. And I'm going to write something with it just real quick and see how it writes. Let's see. Where do I want to write something at? Write something up here. Let's write pen. Gems. It's pretty much your average ballpoint pen. I don't think it's like anything to call home about as far as the writing. But just like in the actual like quality of pen, it's super pretty. And I think if you're into like using it for props for Instagram pictures, it's really gorgeous. And I think it's pretty affordable, so I will link it down below. They have so many different pens. And if you just want something really decorative or pretty or something that would be a good gift to go along with a planner or a journal, I think that this is definitely the way to go. I just picked up one for now. I don't think I'll buy any more. Because I'm pretty particular about my pens. I prefer a gel pen like the Energel. But this is a really cute pen. I did pick up one thing from this place near me. It's called At Home. and has all kinds of different like house decor. And then they also have random like stationary stuff. I don't think I'm going to keep this. It was kind of like an impulse purchase to be honest. I probably will give it to somebody or include it in a giveaway. But I thought it was really cute so I figured I'd mention it. It was only $6 and it's this really cute like post-it note set with donuts, uh, hamburgers, tacos, pizza, cupcakes on it. And I thought it was really cute. So if you guys see this anywhere, I don't know if you guys have at-homes near you. But again, it's just like a huge like home decor warehouse. I thought it was really cute, but I'll probably gift this to somebody else or include it in a future giveaway. Then the rest of the stuff is from Target, Michaels, and Hobby Lobby. I'll show you the stuff from Target first because there's only two things. I did pick up this notepad. This is really cool, I think, because it's like a wood grain. Let's see if I can get it on an angle. There you go. A wood grain, and it says notes on top. I love these notepads, especially for my planner. It is my favorite. And then I also got these holographic stickers, which were a dollar. I found three sheets of them, and I got one for me, one for Tara, and one for Kirsten. And I thought they were super cute because if you guys know me, I love the stickers with the white border instead of the color border. And there is such cute monsters and trick-or-treat and candy and little potion bottles on the bottom I thought were super cute. And for only a dollar, you can't go wrong. You don't have to buy, like, decorative stickers from Etsy. You could definitely, for a more affordable option, find stickers like these at craft stores. I'm going to show you a bunch more. And also... So I do plan on either um, next week, well, and I think it'll be this week when this video comes up, I'm going to be putting up sometime soon a Halloween giveaway with a bunch of different like Halloween stuff for your planner. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to try and do that probably like seasonally or holiday, like every holiday, do some kind of giveaway for you guys so that you guys can get some cool planner stuff and to show you some affordable options. Next is Michael's. They do have out their little holiday section in the like not their dollar spot, but their little, like, uh, it's like a kind of like a curated section in the front. And I got these two sets of note cards, and these are just holiday note cards for, um, I guess, Christmas or, you know, winter holidays. So I picked those up. Those were inexpensive. I think they were like a dollar. And I use those to send people cards. Then I did pick up some of these dollar books. I picked up every single one of them for the giveaway, and then I limited to myself to four of them, though this one I accidentally bought two of, and I was only going to just buy one. So I ended up having this one for myself, so I'll show you this one first. These are the dollar ones, and they have over 270 stickers. So this one has a bunch of different snowmen and penguins in it, and it's just winter related, and it's called Snowy Christmas. So there is that one. That one isn't one of the ones that I like, felt like the best. But these ones I was like dying over, so I decided to pick up these four. I'm going to be using these in my personal size planner that I'm not doing like a no white space thing. These were the four that I liked the best. I liked two of the Christmas ones, one of the Thanksgiving, and one of the movies. These were my favorite, and I just limited myself, like I said, to a very minimal because whenever you guys see the giveaways, there's like 10 books per holiday. So this one's called Northern Bound, and it has the cutest little animals in it, and it's very like... Uh, like igloo, uh, kind of like, a, I don't know, I actually don't know, like Arctic themed. And there's different penguins, reindeer, little uh, seals. I thought these were super cute. Definitely my favorite out of all of the winter ones. I just love this style. So there are those, again, 234 stickers for a dollar. 
Then there's this one called Santa's Day Off, and I really just like the style of the animals in this one, the polar bears, the penguins, and then the reindeer. But I mean, the Santa Clauses are cute too. There's also ones with um, more reindeer, um, some penguins, some elves, and then Santa's like getting gas here. I thought that was hilarious. I just love the styling of these. Uh, then for the Halloween ones, I liked a lot of them, but the one that I liked the most was Movie Mayhem, and these I just thought were super cute, so they're all movie themed, and I love obviously going to the movies, so I thought these were super cute, and again, I like the style of these, they're very, I don't know, just fun, a little bit different, not as like bubbly as normal stickers are. Then these ones, this one's the Give Thanks one, the one that I picked out for fall slash Thanksgiving, and these ones have really cute little like Indians, pilgrims, owls, turkeys, foxes, and things like that super cute i love this page i love the background color i'm not a huge fan of like borders that are colored i kind of wish they did them in just white borders but i really do like this blue color that they use for the background here so again that one it has 244 stickers for one dollar and those are at michael's i think you can get them elsewhere but i've always had luck with them at michael's also i got these because they i don't really like these like holographic ones on top but again for a dollar for these ones underneath they do have the white uh, border which I really like and then I don't think either of these are double-sided but they do come with a lot of stickers for a dollar and they do again have that white border that I really like so this one has a lot of ghosts on it and then this one has a ton of like frogs and zombies I guess or witches I'm not sure so we got those then I went to Hobby Lobby. I just picked up a couple of things. I didn't really need anything. We were just perusing because Nick needed a white and a black shirt. So I got some post-it notes. I never actually saw the little B section before, but in my Hobby Lobby, well, the one that I went to, it's in the party section, which I thought was kind of weird. So the first ones I picked up say hi and hello, and they're like cut out. Like, I think this is the coolest thing ever. It's like cut. Isn't that neat? And they're just black and white, really cute. Then I got these ones, and again, they're like cut out, like it's so cool. And this is just like a little notepad that looks like it's been torn out with little like tabs on top. And I thought those were adorable. And then these ones are just kind of like airmail themed, I guess, which were neat. Then I picked up some stickers from Sticko, which are really inexpensive. They're $1.49, but often they're on sale. I got these ones, which are Halloween stickers, and I'm going to use these again in my personal planner just as, like, light decorations. Another Halloween holographic one, a Snow Days one, which Nick laughed at because we live in Texas, and then also this, like, Fall Harvest one, which I'm going to probably use in a couple of weeks. Then I picked up some stuff. Well, actually, I picked up one thing from Heidi Swap. This was on clearance for $2.39, and I really like the bright colors, and I'll probably save this for springtime, but I just picked it up because it was on sale. And then I picked up some stuff from Mombi. The first thing I picked up was this Mombi Shapes. They have all different shapes in here. I thought they were all for Christmas, but there's, like, Christmas, Halloween, um, St. Patrick's Day, I don't know, hearts, uh, trees, leaves, pumpkins, kisses, butterflies there's just random stuff in here they're glitter some are foiled and i really thought they were super cute so i picked them up and i think i'm going to use them like scrapbooking wise then i picked up this to show you guys whenever i do my happy planner kind of overview and this is the happy planner six pocket folders so it shows you guys um on the front the different designs that they're in but they're literally just like pocket folders and I will show you guys more in depth this whenever I show you guys my happy planner overview, which I want to do soon and kind of show you guys some of the additions that I thought were cool. They have so many different things that you can buy for the happy planner, but I only picked up the things that I thought that I were really cool. The next thing I picked up and the last thing I picked up were these two sticker books and I thought these were so cool, but I want to check something really fast. Okay, so I'm going to say that the majority of these stickers will work perfectly in the Erin Condren Life Planner boxes. They're going to be probably either a little, a little too long, a little too short, but either way, like, as long as they're the width, and that's what I've been trying to explain with everybody with the Happy Planner. Everyone wants stickers for the Happy Planner, but really, all of the Erin Condren stickers fit width-wise, so you just have to work with length, and most people, uh, like, don't just use everything in a box form, so really like build your stickers, the, like the ombre boxes, you can put a sticker underneath them and it works. So these are awesome because they are all one and a half inch wide, most of them obviously besides like these ones, these random ones in here. All the rest of them are one and a half inches wide in this one, but they will fit perfectly in a box in an Aaron Condren. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys. So this is awesome. 
These were $5. I think you could use a 40% off coupon to make it like three and change. These have, let's see, six sheets of stickers, all super adorable, super pretty, have a lot of great sayings. This would be a great little kit to pick up to cover up the little calendar in the corner, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you guys. So let's see what we got here. So let's do it this week. Oh, I might use this for a Halloween week. Actually, no, no, this is the end of September. So I'm going to just pick one, one that I don't like a lot because I don't want to waste one. I don't know. I love all of them. It's me problem. I'm going to use this one. It says, a year from now, you will wish you had started today. So as you can see, get it on there perfectly. It'll fit perfectly on your Erin Condren in the column. So I'm going to rip that up. Actually comes up really nice. And then you can also use it over your little box in the corner to cover that up, to put a little quote up there. There's so many. And I just really think that this is going to look absolutely gorgeous. It's honestly like a hair too wide, but if you center it, you cannot tell. I will show you. But I think that these are the cutest little quote boxes. And for the price, like you cannot beat this for six sheets of stickers. Like I was like, why didn't I see this before? Why didn't I think about this? And for only $5, like you cannot... You cannot go wrong. How many stickers does it even say? There are just so many. There has to be at least 60 stickers in here. I'm going to say 60. So look at that. Can you even tell? It's, a, it's literally half a hair wider. I don't even think you're going to be able to tell. But if you can tell, if you put them directly over the lines, you can't tell. But they don't fit in between the lines, if that makes sense. So, I mean, come on. For that price, to have cute little, like, quote stickers, they are not, they're glossy, but, like, as you can tell, they're really not reflecting that much. They're a little bit thicker, so they're really nice quality. And to remove them, it wasn't that bad, yeah. I can lift that up, no problem. Put it back down. You guys... If you see these, pick them up. Pick them up. They're so nice, and they have such quick, great quotes in them. And there's plenty of other stickers, so it's not just all full boxes, but, like, this will look so pretty. Like, let's say, oh, I don't know when to use them. You guys know what's going on. Just look at that. Just look at that. So that was everything in my haul. I hope that you guys liked it and found some cool stuff. Definitely if you're in Hobby Lobby or wherever they else they sell these stickers, they're with the Mommy Planners that look like this. Definitely pick up these stickers because they are seriously super cool. And I hope that they come out with different ones, like more like this. So let me know what you guys thought down below. I hope that you guys like this video, and I'll definitely talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!